Shout out to Canada, those are my blow Shout out to Philly, the city that's fucking gritty Ain't nobody in the city that's really been fucking with me Got my arms in the knot, career in the dot Just signed on the line and a nigga won't stop, can't stop Bullshit. You be on that bullshit. You on that 718, can't get a f the lick it. He really run the fucking cut, you know that really different. Uh -huh. That pussy, but I purr like a little kitten. He begging. Ask him to let us go. Reality is y'all, let me find out. As you told me about you yesterday. Alright, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> no. <laughs> I promise we're not going to start this season off like this. Um. Hey y'all, what's up? You already know what's going on. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. I am your host, Mr. Chop, and today we are here to talk about another edition of Baddies, Baddies, Eats, and let the crowd go wild. So I got my notes. We gonna jump right into it. I wanted to have a talk with you guys about something. Um, we probably not gonna have that talk because I got a whole bunch of notes. I actually took notes. This well, y'all know sometimes I take notes, sometimes I don't. Um, I actually took notes. We have a lot of notes. I got a lot of opinions. Um, fair warning. I'm not biased. I'm gonna say how I feel. Y'all could be in the in the comments, gang, gang, squad, squad. Y'all think y'all gonna say this that? Y'all say however y'all wanna listen. That's just that, y'all. It's your opinion, whatever. Listen, I'm not, y'all not gonna get me out of character. I'm not even on that energy. Like, we can have a solid debate or discussion in the comments without y'all acting like little ass chilling. <laughs> so, um, anyway, just one more disclaimer. I just mixed me a, a, a mixed drink. It's like a slushy. Um, I already been drinking <laughs> through like the uh, premiere. So. <laughs> So we just gonna get into it, but I, I got all my stuff together, so it's literally, yeah. We gonna see, I don't know. I'm a little tipsy, but I might not be fully drunk after this. All right, we one a minute and 40 seconds in, including the intro, so now we probably two minutes. All right, let's get to it. We get the opening fight, Asuki and Roly. And Roly pounced on Suki. Um, Roly was calling Suki a bitch and all this other stuff. So I'm just wondering like what was truly um, transpiring. But they always do say that Suki is like a persona. So I wonder how far that persona goes. I mean, maybe not through like, you know, fighting and stuff or whatever. But I just wonder how far that persona goes in just my opinion. Um, so, yeah, that's that. We see that. Then we get it two months later. It was like a, a little open and fight thing. That was cool. One thing I can say is they was listening, y'all. They was listening. We gonna see as it comes on through the season, but right now it seems like they were listening through this whole episode. It seems like that I love the way this episode was produced. It seems like they were listening. Um, so we get to two months later, then we see Natalie fighting somebody with a cinnamon hat on from the Apple Jacks commercial. I don't know who that was, but she it was somebody, somebody I thought it was Scotty, somebody told me it wasn't Scotty. So we definitely gonna see who that is. Um, I gotta get my straw. I gotta get my straw. I wanna drink my sushi with straw. All right. So we got the straw. Um. So we see Natalie say. So we see Natalie, and she says, uh, "Jersey will be included, um, in there as well." Because when we was thinking about it, she was like, um. You know, Atlanta City, et cetera, et cetera. Which Atlanta City is like. New Jersey, in a sense, it's 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 hard to really explain, but it's it's, it's literally Atlantic City is literally New Jersey in a sense, but it's like it's farther up. It's like White Horse Pike, all this other shit, whatever. So, oh, this is good. Oh, this gonna get me drunk, and it tastes like liquor too. This gonna get me drunk. It says we see Natalie. Okay, boom. Um, we get the close up of Natalie walking into the building with the devil face. I love the camera shots. Um, I love the close shots walking through the building. Roly intro scene is fire. I didn't like the hair. It was like a whole bunch of like wish, uh, witchy, witchy, like yes, like broomstick witchy type of. 
I don't know, just like white hair. Like, I don't know, like Spider-Man came in her hair or something. Like, he did a Spidey bus. <laughs> no. But, um, for real, for real. Um, then the uh, Stunner Girl. And Stunner Girl gets no intro. That's what I wrote down. Oh, Rolly also calls the new girls birds as well. Let's not forget that. And I'm not surprised. Uh, Stunner Girl gets no intro. And Krishan introduces herself. She kind of got an intro, but she really... Stunner Girl really didn't get an intro. That's how you could tell they was really mad. Um, Stunner... Uh, oh, Krishan gets her intro. She says a whole bunch of stuff. She introduces herself as a single mother. I mean... From what I was seeing the other day, I don't know. But listen... I I can't even really speak on Krishan. Y'all already know how I am with Krishan. I... Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, Scotty looked like she was dressed for a farm photo shoot when she was walking into the little meeting. Scotty says she's an East Coast baby. North Carolina, and I thought that was down south. But okay. Oh, damn, I forgot to switch my shit, y'all. I'm glad we five minutes in. I wanted to have a proper intro screen for y'all. Um, damn, you can tell I'm lit. Okay. What, um, what did it say? Oh. Oh, yeah, Scotty says she was an East Coast baby and from North Carolina, and I thought that was down south, but maybe that would be South Carolina. So let me just check, because sometimes I'll be saying some outlandish things. Is North Carolina down south this is probably dumb as hell which state are, is north carolina considered a part of the south as defined by the u.s federal government it includes alabama arkansas Del delaware the district of columbia florida woo -woo. louisiana is north carolina considered part of the south and it's up here. It's the uh, Alabama, Arkansas, Delaware, the District of Columbia, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maryland, Mississippi, and North Carolina. Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia, and West Virginia. I never knew Delaware was like a part of the South. Huh? I'm so... But yeah, like Florida and North Carolina are above 60% Southern scenes where Markley... Yeah, like, from what I'm seeing, it's saying North Carolina is a part of the South. So what are you even talking about, Scotty? I knew that was something like, is North Carolina considered deep? What, what states are considered down South? I'm sorry, y'all. When I got my brain fixed on something, we got to see real quick. Roughly, the Deep South is considered to be an area roughly consists with the old cotton belt from East, Eastern North Carolina through Southern Cal. Shut the fuck up, Scotty. Shut the fuck up. I knew you was wrong. I, I still like you, but shut the fuck up. Um, okay, then Roly says she's quicker now after surgery. And she said, and she said money is money. And she wasn't sure about returning because of surgery. Because she didn't know how things were going to be. So she was having a little bit of second thoughts. But my whole thing, you talk about money is money. You won't say money is money until you at your wit's end and you burnt out and you have a mental health issue. But I understand getting that money, though. Because if I was you, I'd probably be, if I was in your predicament right now, and I'm not going to hold you, really, I'd probably be on there fighting for my life, too, the way my life is. Okay. Natalie tells Krishan she can't fight, and Scotty makes an excuse like friends fight and grow and all this other shit after Krishan says, didn't Natalie make you cry? Because she basically brought that up, and Scotty was trying to reverse cowgirl it and all this other shit. Like, miss, shut the fuck up. Sky was Sky says she's engaged. Oh, so we get Sky next. Sky says she's engaged, which I'm surprised. And I did. I already was telling people like Sky kind of changed. I seen a lot from her like maybe two, three years ago, and she was at this cookout, and she just looked so peace and that serenity. That, and that's how I knew we wasn't getting the same Sky back because I could just tell when somebody's like just fully blossomed from whatever the hell they was doing. So, and then at the same time. Roly face when Natalie says Sky was like, uh. Like, I don't know if y'all seen it, but it literally was like, uh. And I'm like, okay, I mean, this is, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The first thing I kind of got was a flashback when somebody was like, every time it's a new popping girl or a pretty or a pretty girl or a girl to do a Roly do or whatever, she always got this type of like, uh. And tonight I kind of seen that a little bit, but, you know, 
we gonna see how it plays out. We gonna see how it plays out, cause we definitely gonna get into the whole, you know, motherfucking Roly being. Well, I'm not saying she a hater, but you know, like from what they really trying to say. Well, she got her ways, but yeah. Um. Okay. Then we get uh, Wo Vicky, aka Victoria. I'm about to go win her, her just for fair, fair warning, y'all. I'm about to go in on her. Well, Vicky, aka Victoria, says she found God in a setter and says, if we don't believe in Jesus, we're going to hell. And that's the one way, and I hate those type of people. Like, whatever she, whoever been teaching her, clearly been teaching her wrong. Because that's the type of people that you actually shy people away from God. Like, you think you're getting into heaven? Like that, like a lot of people be thinking they're getting into heaven or whatever they believe in, cause I believe in a whole different thing. We not even gonna get there. But like, come on, you 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 talking about oh you're going straight to hell? How can you say that to different religions and different etc? Like, girl, shut the fuck up. And I hate that shit. Like people be just 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 like just getting to know God and all this other weird like not weird shit, but all this other shit. And then it's like, oh now if you don't woo woo woo, you're going to hell and woo woo woo. Like, girl, shut the fuck up because you just did all that extra shit. And I got something else that re that states my my claims on her, on what I seen further in this episode. And y'all know what I'm talking about too. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about when they was at that food thing, and uh, Scotty and the girl was fighting. So we gonna get into that. We are gonna get into that. But she says we're going to hell and etc. And Roly says she should have picked somebody else. And I agree with Roly. And Natalie tried to say she beat up Bad Baby and whatever. And first of all, Bad Baby and fucking what's her name? Um, let me see how let me see how old how old is Whoa Vicky? Like I can't believe like yo, I'll be so glad when we fully get out this stage and y'all just being intrigued by anything. Twenty three years old. Bad baby is nineteen years old. She has she either eighteen or nineteen. I know she's legal now, but she's not twenty one. Okay, let's just subtract from 19. Oh, Bad Baby is 20. 21, 22, 23. Yeah, it's three years, but if you really think about the time when they fought, Bad Baby was like 14. Well, Vicky was like 17. It's, it's still, it still it still wasn't fair. Like, I understand it's a couple of years. That's how me and my brother is or whatever, but it's it wasn't fair, bro. It wasn't fair. And then at the same time, it was a whole bunch of bullshit around it. Like, I'm not giving Well, Vicky that win. I'm sorry. I'm not. Like, y'all can hate Bad Baby all y'all want and stuff. Well, she really been chilling. Nobody hasn't been speaking on how Bad Baby really been chilling. Like, she really hasn't been on no BS in a long time. But, you know, y'all only like to bring stuff up when people die in or, like, date and did this, that, and the third. Y'all ne y'all never like to be like, oh, you know what? She has been woo woo. We haven't. Because that's just the nature. If it ain't bad or if y'all ain't fucking saying nothing about nobody bad or something, then it's a fucking problem. You get what I'm saying? Not as a fucking problem, but you get what I'm saying? Then, then, then it's, then it's, you, y'all know what I mean. Then it's nothing to be said. It's no grace, no this, that, and the third. But then, as soon as y'all see something about bad baby, she been doing this whole time, the whole, whole life, rah rah. But she literally been chilling for a good minute. But go off. We gonna get off that. Um. Then we see T is a comedian and eye candy and Krishan says we act like we wouldn't fuck her and Krishan start talking about T pussy being pink who was she kissing like damn I know Scotty and fucking Krishan wasn't was that was that uh was Krishan kissing Scotty yeah cause who else was on the south it wasn't Persuasion it wasn't Ann she was kissing Scotty. Wow, I forgot all about that. And Krishan was talking about T pussy, gotta be pink, and I could just tell him, Krishan, like I'm never the one to talk about nobody's situation, but Krishan, like, I mean, you don't gotta explain shit to nobody either, cause I, uh, listen, she don't gotta explain shit to nobody, but Krishan, like, just know, Krishan, that's all I'm saying. And if y'all know, y'all know, Krishan. Um, damn, I can't find no good pictures on here. Everything is a YouTube thumbnail. Like, what the fuck? I'm trying to get a decent thumbnail so I can just sit back. Like, come on, Natalie. Like, dude, come, come the fuck on, bro. All right, we just gonna put it like this. Fuck it. Fuck it. 
try not to have a little commercial and shit around this. I don't fucking know. I I, I, I truly don't fucking know. Um. All right. So then after that, um, after she talks about her pussy being pink, then we get Camilla. And she says she's back by popular demand. She said that on thirteen. She says she's done runway shows and etc. And has kids. And she says she's she can come out of retirement. I guess that's the what Natalie asked. So yeah, we will see. But for the most part. That's what uh, that's what Camilla was saying. You know, she looked good for all the people to be asking that she is she pr- I seen it, seen it a couple. But is she pregnant? Whoa, whoa, bro! She just had a baby, and you can tell by her like you can tell a lot of y'all be kids. That's why when some of y'all be responding, I be looking at the comment like I know this a fucking kid. Like you don't know no type of nothing. Like no type of like nobody twenty three and un twenty four twenty five and under for, for can say a motherfucking thing to me like that's just I'm sorry I'm sorry yes I'm still in my twenties but y'all cannot say a motherfucking thing to me at all because it just yeah um oh this is nice this is a nice I'm just really trying to find a picture y'all so I don't fucking you get what I'm saying. Fuck it, cause Zeus unprofessional anyway. See Zeus, I'm trying to get y'all y'all prop. I can't even find a fucking picture to get off that fucking image on fucking Google. Like damn, fucking make sure all y'all shit is together. Like make sure I got some good images on Google. Y'all know people gonna be doing marketing, reviewing. Like come the fuck on that. Come the fuck on. <sighs> okay. Um, Natalie says her problem with Camilla says it's on site and that we wanted her and she's here. Stunner Girl says that's what she wants to see. And I'm just like, Stunner Girl, relax. Like, you making it sound real negative. Relax. Then we get then we get Saya. She says she's not a fan of being called a dyke. And she says she's never been around a bunch of feminine women. And she says she wants to be an inspiration for somebody in her shoes. And Rock calls her a dyke, and Roly, <laughs> and Roly start laughing or whatever. Which, bro, like Rock is just so like, I can't even really say Rock was trying to be disrespectful because it just, maybe that's Rock just being Rock at this point. Um, okay, then, um, what else? Well, uh, she says. She wants to be. She wants. She never been around a bunch of feminine women. She says she wants to be an inspiration for somebody. Oh yeah, I said that. Then we get Mariah, and she looks good, but needs to stop introducing herself. As once upon a time, not long ago, I was a, and I'm a man. <laughs> like Miss, I would rather you bring off the. Listen, I don't know. You need to add more stuff to it. Even you got a song with Remy Ma, like, even though, and, and no lie, y'all, that Remy Ma song, last time I checked, that's almost at, like, a million. We can do that. Matter of fact, we can check. We Yeah, we can check. We can check. Mariah, Mariah Lynn features Mariah. I know I spelled her name all wrong. I spelled her name like Mariah Carey or something. Mariah, Mariah Lynn. Features Remy Mom. We gonna do our research. Oh, it got 1.3 million views five years ago. I mean, that's kind of bad for five years, but that's not bad though. That's not bad. And I actually heard that song before. I'm I'm not gonna say and hold y'all. I'm not. I told y'all I'm not biased. I'm not like a big you know Mariah fan. Oh my God, we got Mariah. But you know what I'm saying? Like we, I can give credit when it's due. You know, she do, she got a song, and, and I know most of y'all, well, who is Remy? Well, well, Remy got classic songs, classic hits, or part of classic groups. Like, let's not do that. Just because she ain't popping in this time, let's not do that. You get what I'm saying? Like, get the respect where it's due, because if you was to fall off or whatever in your life, you would want somebody to be like, oh, yeah, whoa, well, whoa, well, she did, whoa, well, whoa, well. so shut the fuck up. Thank you a lot. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm on a thousand tonight. Um... We got side. Oh wait, we got Mariah. Okay, that's all I had to say about Mariah. Rolly says Mariah is something else, and she's waiting to see who she is. Hint two, it was Sky. Man, it's Mariah. Hint two, 
So she's waiting to see who she is. And then we found out she already had her chain snatched, which I didn't know. And Rolly gets a little snippy with Scotty when she asked about Mariah. And it was just giving, like, I don't know, it's just giving real, like, uh, energy. Like, I don't really want to be here. And why are you asking dumb questions? It, I don't know. It's just, like, oh, okay. Okay, Rolly. Like, whatever. Um, I didn't know she had her, snage, her chain snatch, uh, Mariah. Stunner said that's the ultimate disrespect because, you know, Stunner is so hood in the streets and just so well connected and this, that, and the third. Like, I would never understand that people who, like, hang to this hood mentality till they die. Like, I'm trying to be on the fucking hills away from all you motherfuckers. Fucking smoking my weed and not being annoyed or a, a fucking... You know what I'm saying? Like, near you motherfuckers. Like, I'm keeping it the fuck real. Like, when I get my shit, this all this her shit done. I'm not coming around the block. I'm not doing none of that. The only person I'm seeing from my life is the weed man. The weed man. Because all the other extra sh you want to be... You can have all of that, Stunner. You can have all of that. All the sticking to the hood shit. You can have all of that. I don't go fuck about none of that. Um... Then we see Smiley. And, um... Oh, I did say that Stunner said, you know, that was the ultimate disrespect. Her chain back, all this other shit. Then we see then we see Smiley. I mean, she's okay. She was getting it at the auditions. She had her little left hook right at the, at the auditions. And then Smiley session, she fought Mariah's sister. It's up. Which she should already know it's up. Anna Mac looks good. She says she's from... So we get Anna Mac. She says she's from Beverly Hills. If I'm not mistaken, my computer did a little glitch when it said that. So y'all let me know if she's, like, from Beverly Hills. I know that's what I heard, but my, like, dead ass, my computer glitched at that moment. Um, so she's from Beverly Hills, and I didn't know Anna Mac was lions and tigers and bears. Because I remember that when she was saying that at the audition. I was like, see, they should cast somebody like her. So they did. Nat did her big one. Um, I didn't know that was her from the audition. Scotty says she talks a lot and she don't think her hands match. Well, Scotty, baby. You found out those hands was mixed match. Pow, pow. <laughs> no. Um, she said she talks a lot. She don't think her hands match. And Krishan said... She let people back in the auditions that she's a, a B and et cetera. Just excuses for Krishan to act wild and et cetera. Like, okay, Krishan, you sound like you threw that together. But I did hear that through the grapevines that somebody was letting people in. So maybe that was Anna, but whatever. Um, We're going to talk more about the Scotty thing later. Next, we get to Shiki. She said she took care of Krishan. And we see clips of them on Krishan's show. Uh, throwing hands and she says it wasn't at least play Saki Sasiki says one hit ambulance. I love how she talked. I'm not gonna lie, her references and everything. <laughs> but no, she um yeah, I mean don't get me wrong, I don't think she should've even though Krishan probably like you you probably got Krishan coming at you and you like you gotta defend yourself because it's like it's motherfucking Krishan. Like not giving her too much props or whatever, but like this motherfucking Krishan. Like, I would feel threatened if Krishan was... You get what I'm saying? Even... I don't know. If I was a woman and, like, even if Krishan was pregnant, I probably still would feel like I had to watch my hands for her. But I do... Now that I've seen the clip, I do agree. She should have just backed up. Like, chill the hell out. But Krishan has been saying she was drunk on that. But I'm not making no excuses. But I do think that she, she, she should have chilled in that moment. But that's not what we're based in all of that all. Because, you know, Krishan fans is sick, delusional, and... All the above. Um, I don't care. And y'all could come to me this whole listen. <laughs> don't I might can't respond to you on YouTube. I'm letting all y'all know this. But oh, it's gonna be some stories. They're gonna have a documentary. It's gonna be like, oh, the reality chat was saying this, this, that, and a third, and people did yeah. I do slide in DMs sometimes and I do curse people out and I say the craziest and then I block you. So just, just, just be mindful, be mindful of your page and everything, cause I'm, I'm telling you, the reason I don't be arguing with y'all on this, on this YouTube, cause I'm letting y'all know, the shit I want to be wanting to say to y'all, I can't fucking say, 
And I'm just gonna say it like that. Um, next week, uh, what it, what it say? Um, yeah, Natalie says Krishan instigated at the auditions, and Natalie says Krishan says she didn't give her a ticket. Krishan says, don't give her a ticket. We not fucking with her. And I'm not going to lie. Krishan has been giving me this iffy ass, eerie ass vibe. Like she like low key don't be wanting her sister to win. And she low key be iffy with it. And I'm not going to sit here and lie. Like I do. Somebody made a good point too. They was like, bro, if Natalie ain't had that, she wouldn't have said it low key. Like, yeah, Natalie be lying. And we be, and we still be catching Natalie in lies. Like when she said she had 10,000 followers, not 10,000 followers, 10,000 viewers on her live when they was in the sprinter bus and it was only 6k like who, what was the reason to lie but in that moment i believe natalie like i i believe natalie i'm not gonna say old i believe natalie and it's sad when i believe natalie but i believe natalie like i don't believe natalie was lying on no bullshit or anything like that sorry i had to hit the vape um don't judge me next Okay, Natalie says, okay, Krishan says she don't want her on the show if she's going to try and fight her. And then at the same time, Natalie was trying to say, like, you know, well, not Natalie, uh, Krishan was trying to say, no, that's not what it, but you peep, Krishan ain't fully stand on her backup and make sure that it was known that she didn't say that. Because she know at a part of the part of the time she said that, she like, whatever, even though at the end, Krishan had this little face looking at Natalie, but it's like, bro, they, they so fucking iffy, bro. Like, they literally both, like, I'm not gonna hold you. Krishan and Natalie be lying to a degree. Like, miss me with all the dumb shit. Krishan mm. says, no, DJ Sky is not introduced. And we see, oh, so we see DJ Sky, like, a little bit before the intro. I don't know what that was, but, um... DJ Sky is not introduced, and we see the new intro, and it's more social media classy. Like it's a little different. It gave me a different network. It gave me like um, you you ever see? I don't really want to. I don't really want to compare it to that. Like the whole social media season of BGC. I don't want to compare it to that because I feel like the intro. This intro was better, but it gave me like more of like a. I don't know, like a, a classier type of intro. Like I can't really compare it to like a show. But it's like I've seen it before. Like I've seen this. I've seen this style be done before. But the way it was like, I don't know. It gave me more like video game type of vibes. Like, oh boom, we boom, and it's this do do do, boom, and, and like I'm surprised she didn't have the. Even if my name was, but she probably can get the license. Who knows? Who knows if it could, or even though if she got it approved, I know they could pay for it to get it. But who knows if she could have got it approved? Um, but yeah, I like the intro. And I see why they did it like that because y'all see I just spent I don't know how long it we, we is but y'all know I just spent a good ass time just on intros, reading intros alone. We haven't even gotten into the show. Um, Natalie. So yeah, I like the intro. Um, and I said you know it's social media classy. Um, we get the footage in Washington D.C. immediately from the phone in the aftermath, and it says Krishan chose them. First of all. Natalie looked like she was about to ride fucking uh, horses and shit with that fucking episode. I don't know if she thought she was Hannah Montana or what. But she definitely, all she was missing was a cowgirl hat. She thought she was Jessie from fucking Toy Story. Oh, God. But, um, no, so that was cool. Um, we get the footage from Washington, D.C., The Fallen and Aftermath. And it says Krishan chose family. And Natalie says Krishan's whole family was outside. And she calls them broke. And Krishan outside with little to nothing on. And Tashiki says she gonna eat her ugly ass up. And some girl with face blurred out is trying to get to Natalie. LOL. Natalie, this Natalie think it's a joke. This is not a game. This is security is not gonna be always. I'm telling you. Security is not gonna be always. It's not always gonna be able to get like half shit down packed because you're gonna meet the wrong one. And they're going, it's going to be something pulled out. I don't know. But you got to be careful when you watch these people's cities. Um, when you talk about these people's cities. Um, then Krishan says, Natalie says, 
Krishan says, Natalie, nobody's holding you back. And Krishan says, if her sister is beefing with Submai, that she's beefing to see this is what I like to see. And this is what I like to see, too. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, have, I like to see y'all having each other back because on social media, it's making y'all look real crazy. Like, y'all... Like, y'all some real fucked up ass siblings. Like, y'all just don't fuck with each other. And I don't like that. But, um... Yeah, so... After that, um... Krishan says... Ne oh, no, 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 no. She says she's beefing to see. Says if her... Okay, I got that part. Natalie says she makes $20 million a year. All I had to say was... Oh, Miss Nah. <laughs> Oh, Miss Nun, that's all I could think about that time. Oh, Miss Nun. I mean, of course, y'all know I don't believe that. But, um, and Natalie pops her shit with Scotty, like, what she think they was going to do and et cetera. Natalie picks Scotty brain about who she likes. And then we see a back and forth from them online. And we're really getting different content. This looked like it was more work doing. Like, we seeing a whole little social media things. Like, this is giving me when BGC used to put the social media shit at the bottom of the screen. But I like how Natalie is doing this. So, I, I enjoyed that. Even though I didn't get to read, like, all of it. But I skimmed through it. Um, I enjoyed that. Uh, and then, you know, she trying to pick Scotty Brain. Basically trying to story produce. And she keep asking her and, pressure, and peer pressuring her. Basically, she's peer pressuring Scotty. In that moment, I don't know. I don't know if y'all knew, but she was peer pressuring Scotty. Like, if my whole thing is like, yes, it's some quiet people that fight and that defend themselves and et cetera. And, and I can honestly say, like, I'm not a person that hit first, but I'll finish the hell out that shit. Like, I'll throw a brick at you and all that. Like, I didn't went against my fucking, my mother's boyfriend and I didn't had to fucking go get a brick out the brushes and let him know. Like, listen, we will get this popping up in here. And they ran, and they ran all the way in that damn house, cause they already knew. <laughs> but um, yeah. But see, I'm I'm just a reactor. I'm not. I'm not. I would never say I'm a fighter. Can I fight? Yeah. But I'm not. Like, I'm a reactor. Like, if you you want to fight, we can get it popping. Throw the first punch. Don't be a bitch. Like you're you're the one. You know what I'm saying? Like you're the one initiating this. And with guys, it's just more, it's more bitchier. Like, niggas are such bitches nowadays. But, um, <sighs> keep asking, um, would it get over it? Oh, Natalie trying to story produce already and keep asking, peer pressure Scotty, asking, do y'all want to get over it? To get, o to get it over with and keep going. Like, okay, girl, Natalie says she's confused on Scotty and is giving unsaid words. Like, say what you really feel to her. For real, because at the end of the confessional, she's like, oh, Scotty went, I don't know. Um, like, in the confessional, and it's like, if you had something else to say to her, say to her, like, do you, like, are you scared? Like, why are you who, like, you supposed to be her friend, right? Keep it a buck with her. Like, I understand not embarrassing her on, you know, the internet or socials or whatever, but it's like, miss, like, if you feel in some way, like, stop holding your tongue and say what the fuck you was going to say. Um, Stunner says, so we see Tasiki and Rock. Stunner come in. Stunner says, Rock, Tasiki look like twins. And I said the same thing, honestly. Like, they look very similar. That's why I'm like, people, like, don't get me wrong, they don't look the same, but they look very similar. For all the people, like, uh, like, I don't know, y'all, I'm not even dressing Krishan, Krishan fans. Like, y'all, y'all real life be needing medicine. Cause y'all over here talking about Kasiki ugly, woo woo, like, shut, shut up, shut up, stay in the child's place and shut the fuck up, for real, shut up, and um, Stunner says, okay, and Krishan talks about Roly and Stunner, and says, Roly don't want to fight, and, oh, no, 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 no. And Kristen talks about Roly, and Stunner says Roly don't want to fight, and she's not a bully, and that's why they call at the boardroom meeting. And I was wondering how that was going to go too, because I know they did fight at the uh, reunion, but Roly gave me the type of person like she could let it go, like we fought, it is what it is, and I understand it. So good for them. Um, Tasiki and Stunna agree. Natalie overstepped her boundaries and calls her a meatball ass B. And Rock says Natalie plays both sides, which she does. I don't even know why y'all look like y'all look at Natalie as like 
a friend, like, I would be with Natalie, like, okay, this is my producer, and if something happened to her, like, I gotta make sure she good, and that's, like, if we in the street or something, you get what I'm saying, or especially, like, not even in the street, like, especially if we on, like, on, like, camera, I'd just be like, alright, yo, like, everything Natalie be saying, it'd be coming out one ear and the other, cause, bitch, you get what I'm saying, but, I don't know, they need to take a page out of Jay Lamina book, cause, Jay Lamina, no, trust me, I got a live with Jay Lamina on this page, and Jay Lamina, she was on, she was on uh, live with Natalie after that, and Natalie could tell the energy, Natalie be trying to big play it all, Natalie could tell the energy that Jayla wasn't fuck with her like that, but she still was being cool, you wanna know why? Cause Jayla's about her fucking business, about her fucking money, but you see Jayla ain't come back yet though. You see, Jalen, cause they know what it is and what it ain't. But she just being, she 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 just thinking smartly. I'm not even gonna say being respectful. She thinking smartly. Um. Um. And then Krishan, oh Tashiki and Stunna agree. Um. Oh 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 oh. Oh, when they was talking about her overstepping her boundaries, and then you know it's crazy. You seen. Yesterday or a day ago, Natalie was on social media like, I don't have a sister, but I have a brother, and I know what it feels like. I'm telling y'all, if y'all get on Natalie and ask about anything, she will reject the statement. If all of y'all get together and be on some, whoa, 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 she will, uh, she will, she will attract the statement. Like, Pete, Natalie said that fast as hell as soon as that clip released. Oh, you know what? I have a brother, and I do know how it feels to be overstepped with boundaries because, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, Natalie be claiming she don't want to be hate so bad, but those words really be hitting her. Because if Natalie is really about her business and her mind, money she would get to it by any means promotion and all you know what i'm talking about nun chin <laughs> you know what i'm talking about girl don't play don't play this is all fun don't play um that's a little sidebar for me because natalie be watching my shit she be trying to play she be watching my shit don't do that I don't care that shit got a hundred fucking views because sometimes my views go in and out with these fucking reviews and don't fucking play that don't fucking play because you just don't Look, oh, <laughs> oh, I was going to say something, but I'm be professional. I'm be professional, but don't play that. Don't play. Um, Krishan says, Natalie, um, okay, moving on past that. Krishan says, Natalie got, just got a big ass chin and a big ass mouth. And, um, I can't say I don't disagree with, uh, Krishan. She has some good fights, though, but I'm, I'm not going to say I disagree with Krishan. Krishan says, oh, and Rock says they doing the same shit in a disappointed way. If y'all peeped that when they was on the bed, she was like, what you, what you think we're going to be doing the same shit this year? Yeah, Krishan already know. Krishan, if you if you pay attention to Krishan, Krishan will low-key be telling you shit without telling you shit. I'm letting you know. I learned this from Batty South. She will tell you shit without telling you shit. So then... We found out, and Rock says they doing the same shit, and then, this, oh, we found out they have a promo shoot tonight. We see Mariah, Nat, and Scotty have a combo, and I like this. I do. I like the setup on how this was. It wasn't no ice cream parlor, but they went, you feel me? Let me see y'all sit down at more places and not just have y'all on the Sprinter and fucking in the house or in the backyard talking unlimited shit. Like, I don't want to see y'all in different environments, in different places. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm sorry, y'all. I had to grab my fucking, my charger for my vape. I got the expensive vape. I don't be smoking all the other shit. I got the ones I could get non-nicotine, nicotine. So, I'm not everybody else that be smoking them 7-Eleven ass vapes and shit. And then they be dying from fucking heart murmurs. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna try to hold up. Um, then it says, um, "What happened? We found out they have a promo shoot tonight. We see Mariah and that, and Scotty having a convo. And I like this. And that asks is why she's looking over her her shoulder. And then we see T. Um, T walk up or whatever." Um, oh, we see T and Victoria. And T voice, I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, T voice is low key annoying to me. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, on a, on a good day, or my bad, on a high day, on a high day, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, like, you get what I'm saying? 
So we will we shall see on a high day, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to deal with her on a high day. Um so what else happened? They walk in there and it's annoying, I can't lie. Oh Mariah's King dress and a confessional, it was like a chalice. It was like a chalice type of dress. Like, if y'all know what a chalice is, a chalice is like the shit that you pour the juice in for the kings. I liked it that. I liked it that a lot. That was fire. Um, that's, um, that's dope. And then Natalie tells Victoria she was attacked. And Natalie says they... And, well, Victoria was really like... Oh, yeah. She said it a little bit. Like, she... You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not surprised that shit. Or, like, she really didn't care. Like, she... Y'all, she just, I don't know. She just gives me one of them people that like, and like to invade and, and likes to invade certain spaces so then they can get like a lawsuit or a setter from it. Like, she just gives me untrustworthy, sneaky as hell vibes. And I'm not, you can miss me with all the other bullshit that you're trying to sell us because I'm not none of these other people and I ain't buying what you selling, girl. Um, shit, um, she Natalie says she has class because I guess they was about to smoke at the table or whatever. I don't know. And Victoria, and Victoria was like, "No, she don't. No, no, they don't." In the thing, um, Mariah says she's going to stand and step behind her sister and call Smiley Mrs. Puff. I'm screaming, and and um, yeah, because basically you know the whole thing with T got bought up. We're not gonna speak too much about it. We all know about it. What she said, et cetera. Um. Mariah says she's going to stand up and step behind her sisters and call Smiley Mrs. Puff. I'm screaming, and it's T. And I asked, it's T Latina because, I don't know, I've, I've hung around some Latinas, and, like, I don't know, I just be feeling like I know when somebody's giving me, like, a Latina vibe. So, I definitely know Animac is, like, Latina or something. I don't think they're light-skinned women. I don't know. I, I could be wrong, like I said, but I don't think they're light-skinned women. Um, Hold on, let me take a drink. Mmm. That's a lot of fucking vodka. Hold on, let me take a puff. Alright, y'all. Um And then we meet Animac and Scotty gets up. Because, you know, she's saying so we gonna bring in Animac. And you know, when when Natalie said that, Scotty had already got up. And that's how you can tell reality TV don't be real because People be knowing once you be on certain shows for a long time, and this is an insider because I've done the whole that whole situation before. When you walk into certain places, or when they say certain people names, when they say certain people names, and they're like, "Oh yeah, so we're gonna bring in such and such." That's already a cue. It's already a cue. And if you watch reality TV enough or you observe enough, you already know once they say it's my name, that's the cue. So that's either or from both sides. You can learn from both sides for real, for real. Um, then um, Scotty gets up, Natalie introduces, and then boom. And Scotty was getting tore up. But at first, no, that first fight, I do believe. But don't get me wrong, Scotty was kind of getting up with her. I'm not going to lie. She was keeping it steady at first. But then Anna, I don't know, she started giving her some doinks and on the, like on the top of her head, on the side of her head. And I'm like, oh, Scotty, no. But you could tell Scotty was kind of feeling it, but she was getting madder and madder. Like, no, nah, y'all gonna let me get to her, whatever. But I said, what the hell? Anna gives me crazy. And everybody keeps saying I like they was gonna like her. And I'm like, you know, I wanna wait to see if I like her or not. But I'm not gonna lie, like not. You know, not going off of everybody's name, but she, I don't, I wouldn't say she's my, she's going to be my favorite, but I could see me, I could see me fucking with anime. I could, I could see her being cool. I mean, I don't really like watching her lives and stuff. Sometimes she'd be too loud, but she seems cool. Uh, I don't think, I said I didn't think I was going to like her at first, but I do. And whoa, Vicky is so sick. Oh, here we go. Y'all ready? Let me take another drink. We about to talk about uh, Victoria. This drink so cold, they got steam coming out of it. I did that. I did that. Um, so, um, oh, I was going to like her. 
No, I didn't. Oh, oh, here we go. Victoria is so saved, right? She's so saved, right? But she's recording the fight. Okay, peep. She on bull. She didn't. Oh, my God, y'all, stop. Please, no. God don't want to. Well, you didn't really advocate in the time. You could have. Even if these girls would have said something, you're supposed to speak up. If you're going to be advocating for your Lord and Jesus Savior. Who <laughs> <laughs> and did all this other stuff Like not laughing at, at, at uh, Anybody's perception of God Or whatever I'm not laughing at that But it's just like Girl like you supposed to do all that But she over there fucking recording You see that she's recording having a good ass time You think God wants you to record fights Laugh and hurt at somebody else's pain That's possibly getting beat up Girl shut the fuck up Plain and simple Shut the fuck up And um well, Vicky, okay, so then the second fight was bull because they, when I say the second fight, I mean when they was on the couch, they did a little flappy bird type of swingy handy thing, you know, because security was trying, still trying to let them loose, but it, it could seem like Scotty really wasn't trying to like swing, swing, even though Anna was on the whole little table first. I don't know if she was on the table after the second fight or before, but... That doesn't even that doesn't even matter at this point. Um, Scotty got with the third fight. I'm sorry. Like even when they was starting to do their little hands and they were starting to come down and they just ended up falling. Even though she was on the couch and they said her and it's not fair. Like she got to do something. You should have kicked the bitch on her kneecaps or something. And that's the whole thing. She had plenty of time to think. Like I don't know if it would have been kneecap kicks or something. I don't know. But listen, like, it's, we ain't, we ain't on no, I don't care about security or none of that. We ain't on no TV shit once you put your hands on me. Like, I'm trying to hit you. Like, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to break glasses and kill, like, not, but unalive security. Like, I'm trying to do all that plus some, like, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> if we, if we really gonna get into it, let's get into it, like. Let's for that. We might as well just go ahead and fight to the death because that's what I'm with and that's what I want. You get what I'm saying? Like, I want that life. <laughs> you gonna play with me and I want that life. Like, fuck all that. I want that life. Like, give me that life. But anyway, um, their second fight was bull. And I wasn't expecting Scotty to be the first fight this whole season. I wasn't. Scotty got whipped the third fight. I'm sorry. Scotty is still her ground a little bit with the first fight. I'm not going to lie. T looked like her hands ain't that lethal. And yeah, Mariah and her and Natalie and Camilla fight next. Well, not T. Not T. Um, what's the girl name? I actually replaced it. Smiley. Looks like her hands ain't that lethal. And yeah. Because she Scott. I mean, not Scotty. Um, what's her name? Shit. Um... I, I'm glad it's about to be over. I'm about to get lit. Um, what the fuck is the girl name? Smiley. Miss Puff. Miss Puff. Well, that's that's what Mariah called her, Miss Puff. Which, that was kind of, like, bland. Like, anybody could have called her Miss Puff. Like, you get what I'm saying? I need you to come up with something different. Like, I don't know. Like, shit. What could we call? You know what? I'm not even going to try to. You feel me? I would never harp over nobody fast. So, I'm not even going to do that. Um... But yeah, like, T look, I'm not T, Smiley look like her hands ain't lethal. Yeah, Mariah and her and Natalie and Camilla fight next. Um, T and Mariah, Mariah looked like she was kind of like matching T a little bit with the whole hand wise. But, um, you know, I don't know. It don't look like they're going to be getting into like deep fighting, like how, um, what's her name? Anna Mac and Scotty got into. But then we see Natalie and Camilla. They talking. They walking up. Saya talking to everybody. And then... So Camilla throw her shit back. She like, what's up? And from the angles... Because I'm tired of y'all doing this angle shit too. Just let it play out in that. Like, I know y'all be doing the angle shit. We already caught y'all on Baddies West. But, um... What's the girl name? Razor. So let's not do it. Um... But yeah, she, um... <laughs> fucking... Camilla, Camilla got pushed back, but then you see it's a lot of space. So I'm, I'm guessing after that they got up, and the fight began. But Natalie did get her on that pushback. I don't know if that was a hit. That might be a hit to a shoulder. But I know in the teaser, 
we still we kind of see that up closer but towards a different angle and you see natalie miss so i'm guessing that's that's what that was because we kind of already seen that so i'm guessing when they get up that's the real fight and that's all we got to know about next week um <sighs> net net don't Don't let us be in this fucking restaurant for two to three episodes, please. And for all my reality choppers, I was going to give a long gas speech, all this other shit. How social media been wearing me out, all this other shit, whatever. Um, still gonna, I'm still going to do the picture post every day. <laughs> I'm still, like, I'm still going to upload videos sometimes. But some days, like... Just coming up, like, just, I'm just really trying to detox from social media, just, and everything, and just, what's going on, I've been unemployed, like, I'm, I'm about to go back to work soon, I'm waiting for this unemployment, like, all this other shit, all this other dumb shit, so, I'm, like, at the tonight, I'm about to try to get it together, find my peace, my zen, you know, and, not gonna lie, social media low-key been fucking me up because everybody's just following them. Like, as soon as somebody say something or they like, oh, whoa, 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 when everybody jump on that bandwagon, it's no, like, nobody who go against that person. It's like, oh, if you go against them, you're a hater. You're a hater. You're mad. You're sad. You're a hater. And I just be like, bro, is these really the people that be around me in real life? And I just, I low-key just be don't, don't be wanting to know nothing that be going on social media. So on that note, and I'll say this, and we're just gonna keep it quick. And fast, I'm gonna start posting a lot more. Um, <laughs> I still gonna do the post post, the community post, of course. You'll see, I've been slagging on that the last two days, but yeah, y'all. I just mentally, I ain't been with it. Um, that's all we're gonna say. I probably already said enough, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and um, see you next week.